This tutorial demonstrates the execution of an example ventilation installation project using the Arcadia Ventilation Installations Industry Module of the Arcadia BIM software. This project can be found in the Samples folder, which is installed together with the program. In the Program window, we see two additional windows, the Project Manager window and the 3D View window. From the Project Manager window, you can manage all elements of the program, switch to other views or levels, and set the visibility of elements. The 3D view allows you to preview the model as you are creating it. We will start drawing the ventilation system by inserting the air handling unit. From the ventilation tab, select the air handling unit, set its level at 380 centimeters, and insert it into the project. Then we rotate the air handling unit in the x-axis by 90 degrees. We can place the air handling unit anywhere in our project. Now we're editing the supply connectors from the air handling unit. We go into the properties and we change the diameter of the connectors to 200 millimeters and the height to 700 millimeters. We select the duct tab and connect the duct to the air handling unit. If you have selected the option import from element and import connector parameter from element, the duct will be automatically adjusting itself. We insert a duct into each output and we connect an elbow to the last one. We will assign a system to each of these sections of the installation by going into the properties. This will be the air intake, the air supply, exhaust and air exhaust. We'll develop our duct all the way into the edge. We're going to change the system to the air uptake system because we're going to make the air uptake here. And we're going to change the one with this elbow to the air intake system. And we'll pull our installation all the way over here over the door. Then we're going to put the outlet. We choose the outlet, we can insert it from the library on, and we can insert any user defined one. We will change it to a round outlet with a diameter of 200 millimeters and the connection also 200. Flow arrows and flow values appear. We go to the air intake and we choose from the library the intake. And we insert it at the end of our installation. As you can see, there are also arrows indicating the flow. We go back to our supply and exhaust system, put in intake and uptake ventilators.
To do this, we select an intake ventilator from the project library and insert it into our installation. And exactly in the center of the ceiling panel. The value resulting from the assumed parameters for the room, i.e. 500 cubic meters per hour, appeared at the ventilator. Entering the intake ventilator properties, we can deselect the option and enter any value. We will copy our intake ventilator to the next panel The airflow value has split into two. Now we're going to put the uptake ventilators. For this purpose, we will select the one from the library and insert it into the next two panels. Here with the option Center Between Points, the uptake ventilator value appeared. And we will copy the uptake ventilator again to the next panel. Now let's connect the installation. We will connect the ventilation duct. We're going to drag it in this direction. We can give it a length of 240. Then we will enter the room with another click. Please note that an arc will be drawn automatically. Now we're going to insert a T. If we have the option import connector parameters from elements checked here, then our T will fit the size of the channel. We'll go to the properties and change the diameter of the exit. And then we're going to draw the rest of the duct. We will do the same for the exhaust duct, also by setting the points, but now we'll go further. and we will insert a connection to our uptake ventilators by connecting a second duct. The program will also insert a T with a specific diameter here. When putting in the intake and uptake ventilators, we forgot to assign them a height. We'll go into options. Unfortunately, we can't mark both. So we'll go into the intake ventilator first and we enter the required size for the installation level, 330. And here also 330. Please note that the whole way through we are drawing elements in our 3D view. Now we will insert a damper with a diameter of 200 at the ends of the ducts. and also on the second one. And we will connect our intake and uptake ventilators with flexible duct.
and the uptake ventilators. If we have properly connected our elements, we can perform our installation check. We only have a message about the incompatibility of the connectors. This requires some correction, but does not affect the calculations. We turn on the calculations. We have tabs for each system here. And in them, there are appropriate paths in which we can track the hydraulic losses, flows on given circuits, and acoustic elements. If it turns out that one of the ducts causes too much pressure loss, or there is too much flow on it, we can edit it from the calculations level. Additionally, we can renumber our installation to generate a specification. The numbering is done by clicking the Renumber Elements button. And now we can insert our list of materials and specification. Each element has been given its own individual number. Additionally, each element can get a description with any value in it, for example, flow, and for the air handling unit. In addition, we can insert a cross-section into the drawing anywhere in front of our installation. We can see the location of all the ducts. Thank you for your attention and we encourage you to design installations in Arcadia BIM and the Arcadia Ventilation installations.